I don't think in the current game there's a weapon more feared than Last Word. I truly believe that, no matter where you're playing Steam Console Stadia, a Last Word user is a problem, so much so that they're adjusting it in the upcoming weeks, and I have some perfect scenarios and graphs to showcase why it's so good right now and how they're changing it. When you do see it, you see controller players. It's a completely different weapon depending on the input. MK players don't find success with it, but controller players do. Why is that? It has a 0.53 TTK, three straight headshots, and if it's a four bullet kill, it's a 0.8. It's lightning fast. When you look back at the definition of aim assist by Bungie, and then when they were talking about aim assist and airborne effectiveness, it can show why last word is the way that it is, and it's also gonna show you how it's getting changed. So first, the definition. The term aim assist has two parts. Auto aim, bullet magnetism, bullet bending. If a target falls inside the cone, your projectile will aim at the target before the effects of the accuracy cone. This applies equally to M and K and controller, but then we have reticle friction. Friction slows down your aim when a target is within the cone, and the adhesion can pull your aim to stay on the target even if they move while you're aiming. This is only turned on for controller. So then we have the question, what is precision aim assist? When grounded and aiming down sights, the full aim assist cone angle is used to determine whether a shot is going to crit or be a body shot. So in the graphic, the white outline on the head is the hitbox. We have the center point on the reticle and the aim assist cone is blue. The precision aim cone is red. They say that in figure one, your aim assist cone overlaps the head, but you're not aimed right at it. You're still going to get a crit. And remember on a hand cannon, the outer circle is the aim assist stat, the X, the inner part, is the accuracy, the bloom, the precision cone angle. So right now, a controller player is getting full advantage of the aim assist and friction while having those two cones overlapping the head. That's why you can be off of the head, and in my editing software, you can see I am clearly off the head, but when I shoot, you see the bullet bend, you see the magnetism. That bullet bend is how far the bullet can deflect away from my center point and still hit the target within my aim assist effective distance. So when you aim, it gets slowed down, keeps you on the head. Then you have aim assist, bullet bend, friction, all at full strength. So with this last word nerf that's coming, they say that they reduce the hip fire precision aim angle by 50%. And that precision aim angle dictates how far off the head you can be aimed and still have aim assist grant you a crit instead of a body shot, which again is this right here. This is at full strength right now pre-nerf. My aim assist cone is overlapping the head, even though I'm not aimed at it and I'm still getting a headshot. They're reducing this by 50%. It's almost going to be what you're looking looking at. And even though in this particular figure, this is showing airborne, this is pretty much what's getting ready to happen to last word. This is what it's going to look like. And to quote again, the precision aim angle dictates how far off the head you can be and still have aim assist grant you a crit instead of a body shot. Well, this would be a body shot. And we go back to that footage. This would be a body shot. So even though aim assist and friction is still going to be good, it's still going to keep you around that head area. That precision cone is much smaller, that 50% reduction. And they also reduce damage and aim assist fall off by three meters and range is tied to friction, accuracy, all of the good stuff. So it is an all around nerf and this is how they're doing it. We're not going to know until we get it in our hands. In theory, it will result in more body shots. However, if you can aim well, it should be fine because they didn't touch the aim assist as far as slow down and friction. You're still going to be around the head. You just have to center it better. If you can aim well, it should be okay. And we've seen nerfs and buffs in the past, like the M&K stability nerf. No one cared, it didn't matter. We've seen changes to airborne, slide nerfs, different buffs and nerfs. We won't know until we get it in our hands. There's still a chance that last word will still be potent. We're just gonna have to wait and see. So that's what's getting ready to happen. In theory, you're gonna have to be centered better. There's also a chance that good last word players won't see too much of a difference. Seriously, the three meters range is a big deal. It's already at a short range, but there's the other half of this, accuracy. And lucky pants are important now, and I think they're gonna be even more important once this nerf comes. So let's bring this back up. Again, the outer circle, the aim assist cone, and this cone is there no matter what, even when you aim down sights, it's not as defined. Same with the accuracy cone, but this circle, the aim assist circle, does grow larger when you add to the aim assist stat. So last word has a base 40 aim assist. Let's say somehow you got it to 100. The circle would physically get larger. And to help better understand, I'm going to bring those figures back up in a moment, but the X is the accuracy. Outer circle is the aim assist. And as you shoot the last word, the accuracy blooms. The X widens. And eventually it goes outside the aim assist cone. And the bullet can go anywhere within that area. The last word itself has fan fire. Hit fire shots deal bonus damage while increasing reload speed and accuracy. So within the gun itself, as you land shots with last word, you see how that X, the accuracy gets better. It's preventing it from blooming. 
So when you do go full auto or fire it fast, it takes longer to end up on the outside of the aim assist cone. It's a good thing. But with Lucky Pants, we have a legally modded holster. When you draw the weapon, the more damage is only for PvE, but for the Crucible, this part does work. Hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate immediately after firing them. It coexists with the text. While illegally modded holster is on the screen, the accuracy buff is there, and it can be refreshed. You could stow it, bring it back out, get the buff again. It's always been good, even for M and K. Lucky Pants are going to help the last word the most, because again, they didn't nerf the aim assist stat. It's still sticky. It's still going to feel the same. But as far as landing the shots, that's what's going to be different. You need to be more on the head. And last word right now is poor in that true mid range. It does have accuracy issues even when you add on accuracy and even lucky pants. So the three meter nerf is another big thing for it. And both those things are working together and that's how they hit it. They hit it from two sides, two angles. You need to be closer, you need to be more precise. And this play style, last word sniper, it might go away. Last Word could become a weapon that you truly have to master. The players that use Last Word right now know what it's capable of, they know what they're doing with it. Especially on controller, you could be pretty relaxed. And some of those players are going to feel the nerfs. But if it goes down how I think it's getting ready to go down, there's a shot that some Last Word users are going to be just as good with it. And we need to get it in our hands, of course. But this playstyle has been a thing for like six years with the sniper rifle. Because you can one shot from afar, melt up close. It's the best of all worlds. And when you have out Last Word, all you're doing is moving position to position to get opponents right where you want them in your engagement space. So that isn't going to change. Like when you're close to a corner and you know that they're running up on you, you just create space, kind of like a sidearm. And speaking of sidearms, Drang might take this space or the three burst sidearms. On a personal note, I've always liked Last Word all the way back to the glitched aim down sights 111s and D1 all the way to right now. I do bring it out from time to time and every time I do, it's dominant. We'll just see how it shakes out at the end of the month. So if you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I want to hear your thoughts on a couple of things. Number one, how do you feel about the last word? And two, do you think that the nerf was warranted? I use a lot of different things and this nerf just might take it out of my rotation. If it does, there's a ton of good weapons in Destiny 2. It'll be okay. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy. Together as one. I love you. Zone A captured. Power play. Keep the pressure on. Everyone, so they can witness you. What can stop you if you fight together? Nothing. Zone C lost. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. Strong. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. 